Dear students, this is the module number three of chapter number 12, Natural Disaster, in which we are going to talk about cyclones. So let us see what are the cyclones. Cyclones are the violent storms and they form over oceans and sea. And whenever they reach the shore, that, uh, that means whenever they come towards the shore, then the, they cause lot of destruction. Then cyclones are always accompanied by heavy showers and high speed winds. So whenever there is a cyclone, there are lot of uh, showers, heavy showers. That means very, very heavy rainfall as well as lot of high speed winds. Then cyclone prone areas, generally the areas which are the coastal areas of India like West Bengal, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu. Maharashtra, etc. Now, if there is a cyclone, if there is a prediction of cyclone, then what we should do? First, we should listen to the radio and we should see the weather forecast. And we have to see all the warnings which are given by the government or the weather forca forecast team, right? Then we should move to a place if we are living very near to the seashore then we should move to a place before the cyclone arrives, right? Then we should store dry food. That means dry fruits, etc. in the waterproof bag so that you will have them in emergency. Then we should always stay away from ocean and sea, right? And we should keep all the emergency numbers with us. Then there are some natural other disasters also. So we are going to talk about them. First of all, I am going to talk about the blizzards. So, blizzards are storms which are characterized by the cold winds and lots of snow. So, you can see we cannot experience it in India, but where, where there are the very heavy snowfall, like America, Australia, right? So, these are the places where they do experience the blizzards. Okay, landslide. So, so many of you have asked, ma'am, what is a landslide? So, you can see from the picture. That whenever the landslide occurs, then the soil, the rocks, etc. comes down the slope. You can see even in the picture. And this happened because of the heavy rainfall or snowfall. Right? And even it can happen after an earthquake. Okay. Tornadoes. So, tornadoes again are the fallen storms, but they are in funnel shape. And they stretch from earth to the clouds above. That means they are, they don't come into the water. They generally form on the earth and then they move towards the clouds, right? Then wildfires and forest fire, we all know this, that uh, there are some natural causes that uh, occurs and there can be a fire in the forest, right? Sometimes it may be triggered by lightning. So you have seen lightning occurs when there is heavy rainfall. So that time also uh, the natural wildfire can occur and as well as the human activity might be someone has gone uh, in the forest and has used the matchbox or something like that so might be because of that also yes now volcanic eruptions so whenever the volcanic erupts so what happens lot of molten lava steam gas and ash expelled out through a volcano so you can see even in the picture avalanche so avalanche is like a mass of a snow, lot of snow, ice, snow, ice and rocks that slides down, slips down, you can say, from the mountain slope, slope very fast. You can see the boy is running and the avalanche is coming with a lot of speed. So this is what the avalanche is. Now tsunamis. Tsunamis are a series of huge sea waves. Whenever there is a tsunami, then there is a lot of sea waves which occur under because of the underwater earthquake as well as the volcanic eruptions. So generally tsunami comes due to the earthquake or the volcanic eruptions. Do you know children, the waves of a tsunami can travel thousands of kilometers. So if uh, it occurs in Mahara, so we can also be affected with the tsunamis because we are also thousand away kilometers, right? Then they destroy everything in the path. So this is very, very dangerous. I hope you liked the video and you understood it, understood it well. Thank you and have a nice day.